Drumlink is a first-of-its-kind technology in electronic drumming, allowing wireless connectivity between an electronic drum pad and the sound source without any loss in playability or triggering speed. In this video, we're going to show you how you can connect a WT10 wireless trigger adapter to Roland pads and cymbals for use with a compatible V-Drum sound module, SPDSX Pro or laptop. For a list of compatible sound modules and pads, visit the WT10 product page at roland.com. Step 1. Unbox the WT10 trigger adapter. Step 2. Insert AA batteries into the WT10 unit. Batteries are sold separately. Step 3. Using the mounting attachment clamp, attach the WT10 to a simple stand underneath a cymbal, or to a drum hoop, or a bass drum hoop. Allow enough length for the cables that connect the pad to the WT10 to move freely. Step 4. Connect the trigger cables to the cymbal or pad and then connect them to the inputs on the WT10. If you're connecting a ride cymbal, connect the bow edge output to input 1 and the bell output to input 2. When connecting a VH10 hi-hat, connect the hi-hat symbol output to input 1 and the hi-hat control output to input 2. Step 5. Insert the supplied USB cable into the output of the DWE Drumlink Wireless Hub receiver unit. Connect the other end of the cable to the USB trigger input of a compatible Roland drum sound module or to a laptop. Step 6. There are specific sequences for setting up the WT10 system which will depend upon whether you're using a laptop with DW Soundworks or a Roland V-Drums module. How to set up the WT10 system with the V71 sound module. Connect the DWE Drumlink Wireless Hub to the digital pad input on the Roland V71 module. This will bring up a pop-up in the display window showing that Drumlink Hub is now connected and inviting you to enter the Drumlink Hub screen. Use the cursor buttons to select OK and then press the Enter button. This switches to the Drumlink Hub screen. Once there, you will want to pair the WT10 to the Drumlink Wireless Hub and then assign the pad type to match the model of pad that is connected to the WT10. Press the F5 pair button and strike each pad that you want to connect to the WT10 once. You don't need to strike each pad more than once. Note, you will have 15 seconds to pair as many pads as you want with the WT10 system. If you miss one, you can simply press the pair button again and strike the pad. To access the WT10 pad setup screen after pairing, press the exit button and then press the F2 basic button followed by F4 option advanced buttons. Note that the pad parameters for each WT10 unit are not saved within the V71 module but are instead saved within the WT10. In order to change a pad or trigger parameter, strike the pad you want to change before making an adjustment. This will ensure that you are adjusting the correct pad. Next, you will configure the pad type that is connected to the WT10 for the best triggering response. Press the trigger button on the V71. Press the F5 advanced button. Press the F3 drumlink button. Press the F2 basic button to display the drumlink trigger basic screen. Strike the pad that you want to set. You can also use the cursor buttons to move the cursor or the plus and minus buttons or use the dial to select the WT10 pad type that you want to set. Use the cursor buttons to select the parameter that you want to adjust. Use the minus plus buttons or the dial to edit the assignment. Note that for hi-hat pads, you will want to calibrate the offset. Setting up the WD10 with the TD27. Connect the DWE Drumlink Wireless Hub to the digital pad input on the Roland TD27 module. This will bring up a pop-up in the display showing that the Drumlink Hub is connected and inviting you to enter the Drumlink Hub screen. Use the cursor buttons to select OK and then press the Enter button. This switches to the Drumlink Hub screen. Once there, you will want to pair the WT10 to the Drumlink Wireless Hub and then assign the pad type to match the model of pad that is connected to the WT10. Note that if the F1 button's function is shown as RF off, press the F1 button to change it to RF on. Press the F5 pair button and strike each pad that you want to connect to the WT10 once. You don't need to strike each pad more than once. Note that you'll have 15 seconds to pair as many pads that you want with the WT10 system. If you miss one, you can simply press the pair button again and strike the pad. To access the WT10 pad setup screen after pairing, press the enter button. Note that the pad parameters for each WT10 unit are not saved within the TD27 module, but are instead saved within the WT10. In order to change a pad or trigger parameter, strike the pad that you want to change before making an adjustment. This will ensure that you are adjusting the correct pad. 
Next, you will configure the pad type that is connected to the WT10 for the best triggering response. Press the system button on the TD27. Use the cursor buttons to select trigger and then press the enter button. Use the cursor buttons to select drum link trigger and then press the enter button. Press the F1 basic button to display the drum link trigger basic screen. Strike the pad that you want to set. You can also use the cursor buttons to move the cursor or use the dial to select the WT10 pad type that you want to set. Use the cursor buttons to select the parameters that you want to adjust and use the dial to edit the assignment. Note that for hi-hat pads, you will need to calibrate the offset. Setting up the WT10 with the TD50X. Connect the DWE Drumlink Wireless Hub to the digital pad input on the TD50X module. This will bring up a pop-up message in the display showing that the Drumlink Hub is connected and inviting you to enter the Drumlink Hub screen. Use the cursor buttons to select OK and then press the Enter button. This switches to the Drumlink Hub screen. Once there, you'll want to pair the WT10 to the Drumlink Wireless Hub and then assign the pad type to match the model of pad that is connected to the WT10. Note that if the F3 button's function is shown as RF off, press the F3 button to change it to RF on. Press the F4 pair button and strike each WT10 pad once that you want to pair. Once the pads or symbols are paired, a message appears on the display to confirm. You don't need to strike each pad more than once. Note, you'll have 15 seconds to pair as many pads as you want with the WT10 system. If you miss one, you can simply press the pair button again and strike the pad. Press the enter button if you want to enter the WT10 pad settings screen after pairing is completed. Note that the pad parameters for each WT10 unit are not saved within the TD50X module, but are instead saved within the WT10. In order to change a pad or trigger parameter, strike the pad that you want to change before making an adjustment. This will ensure that you are adjusting the correct pad. Next, you'll configure the pad type that is connected to the WT10 for the best triggering response. Press the trigger button on the TD50X. Press the page up, down buttons to display trig drum link. Press the F1 basic button to display the trigger basic screen. Strike the pad that you want to set. You can also use the cursor buttons to move the cursor or use the minus plus buttons or the dial to select the WT10 pad type that you want to set. Use the cursor buttons to select the parameter that you want to adjust. Use the minus plus buttons or the dial to edit the assignment. Note that for hi-hat pads, you will need to calibrate the offset. Setting up the WT10 with the DWE control app. Connect the DWE Drumlink Wireless Hub to the computer. Open the DWE Control application. In DWE Control, press the pair button and strike each pad that is connected to a WT10 wireless adapter. Note that you'll have 15 seconds to pair as many pads as you want. If you miss one, you can simply press the pair button again and strike the pads. Once the WT10 is paired with DWE Control, you will need to configure the pad type that is connected to the WT10 for the best trigger response. Select the paired WT10 and press the Edit button. Select the configuration option. This will open a pop-up menu where you can select your pad type. Note that if you are connecting hi-hats, make sure the hi-hat box is checked for the hi-hat control function to operate properly. After selecting your pad type, strike the pad to save the changes. Note that for symbol pads that are used as crashes, you will need to select which crash position you prefer each one to be placed. For example, crash one, crash two, and so on. This is done within the MIDI options tab. Note that for hi-hat pads, you will need to calibrate the foot pedal settings and offset. Setting up the WT10 with the SPDSX Pro. Connect the DWE Drumlink Wireless Hub to the USB memory connector on a Roland SPDSX Pro. This will bring up a pop-up message in the display showing that the Drumlink Hub is connected and inviting you to enter the Drumlink Hub screen. Use the cursor buttons to select OK and then press the Enter button. This switches to the Drumlink Hub screen. Once there, you will want to pair the WT10 to the Drumlink Wireless Hub and then assign the pad type to match the model of pad that is connected to the WT10. Press the menu button, use the cursor buttons to select the system menu, select pad, trig in, and then press the enter button. Press the F6 drum link button. Press the F1 hub button to display the drum link hub screen. 
press the F5 pairing button and strike each pad that you want to connect to the WT10 pad once. You don't need to strike each pad more than once. Note that you will have 15 seconds to pair as many pads as you want. If you miss one, you can simply press the pair button again and then strike the pad. To access the WT10 pad setup screen after pairing, press the exit button and then one of the F2 basic or F4 option advanced buttons. Note that pad parameters for each WT10 unit are not saved within the SPSX Pro, but are instead saved within the WT10. In order to change a pad or trigger parameter, strike the pad that you want to change before making an adjustment. This will ensure that you're adjusting the correct pad. Next, you will configure the pad type that is connected to the WT10 for the best triggering response. Press the menu button and system button on the SPDSX Pro. Use the cursor buttons to select pad, trig in, and then press the enter button. Press the F6 drum link button. Press the F2 basic button to display the drum link trigger basic screen. You can also use the cursor buttons to move the cursor, or use the minus plus buttons to select the WT10 pad type that you want to set. Use the cursor buttons to select the parameter that you want to adjust. Use the minus plus buttons to edit the assignment. 